coaches. He's a schoolboy football, a team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows so around. Come enjoy the show. He's a school. Yeah, it's the Garden Parish of St. Anne. It's another beautiful day of schoolboy football action in the Isid de Costa Cup. This is in the round of 32 home and away time ties. And we have uh, in the first of this double header, Taki High from St. Mary versus uh, Cedric Tanktus all the way from Trelawney. It's the Jacksall complex here in the Garden Parish. They're led out by the team of officials. And these two teams with different traditions will try to make their claim on a rural school board football dominance it's in the garden parish home to many hotels and villas where individuals relax but there's no time for relaxing in this must win clash for both teams cedric titus they would have cruised through qualifiers so would have tacky high and they all try to make their best mark heading to, to the quarterfinal round of the costa cup it's the broad in sun in saint anne and it certainly shall be a very entertaining and hot match. Two teams who have never really had glory at the senior football level in high school. They will try to do their very best this season. The captains have a moment with the team of officials led by Doreen Affleck, assisted by Micton Allman and Junior Jack. Fourth official being Danian Parchment. Darry and Affleck guides them through the coin toss. Two number sevens, the captain, Rashawn Small for Cedric Titus, and Giovanni McLean, the hitman for Chucky High School. 12 goals, 8 assists, 20 goal contributions in total for that man. Of course, Rashawn Small, four goals, four assists for them. Let's have a quick look at the lineup for Chucky High in goal. Kamari Johnson, Omario Grant, Janoy Barrett, Troy Morgan, Donjay Goldburn, Giovanni McLean, Jaden Davis, Romario Gibbs, DeAndre Jackson, Malik Campbell, and uh, Saviano Johnson. They're coached by Ricky Miller. They line up as a 4 3 3 to Chucky High. Here's the lineup for Cedric Titus High. In goal, Amari Wedderburn. They have a back five of Christopher Walters, Amasoy Rose, Daniel Powell, Kamari Gordon, Malik Foster. Three in the middle, Devontae Horton, Rashawn Small, and McCoy Barrett. Their player to watch. Five goals, ten assists this season. And up top, Ashani, uh, Ash Wayne, rather, Minto, and a Terran Eccleston. Ecclest Those are the strikers there, coached by St. Derek Price. I'm joined today by LeJay Williams and my, 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 my. What a matchup we have, LeJay. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Always a, a uptick in the quality of the Costa Cup once we get to this round of 32 phase. So I'm expecting nothing less here We're on a good surface, a surface that will host the opening of the Jamaica Premier League. So let's look forward to some good football. The one o'clock kickoff is off and attacky. They'll definitely try to settle in their own rhythm. Malik Campbell there on the ball. Romario Gibbs, eight goals for him this season as he passes it to Janoy Barrett. Gibbs, eight goals, 20 assists. And I tell you what, that's half of the assists for the entire uh, Goals are scored 40 in the qualifying rounds for Taki High, so he's definitely an instrumental player for them. As I mentioned earlier, they have 40 goals to their credit, and the majority of those goals would have come from four players. Of course, Giovanni McLean being the head of that. So it's a throw in for Taki. This in the first minute of play, and Gibbs, well, he was there. That's the coach of uh, Taki High, Ricky Miller. Past student of Cedric Titus. No St. Derek Price, the coach of Cedric Titus currently. As they try to clear Cedric Titus in the blue and yellow kit. Five 
foul there from the captain, Giovanni McLean. That's St. Derek Price, coach of Cedric Titus, with a past student of St. Elizabeth Technical. And the danger there averted quickly by the number 17 for Chucky High School, Malik Campbell, the 18 year old. Corner taken quickly for Cedric Titus. Whipped into the area. And almost at the end of that, looked to have been Ashwin Minto, but unable to get it into a more dangerous area. They continue with the captain small, spreads it wide. Barrett, man to watch. Small again, the captain. Trying to play a bit centrally. Taki now trying to clear. All played out for throwing now for Taki High School. Yeah, game starting at a little bit of a tentative pace. They try to come forward, Taki. Good defensive work. That from Christopher Walters holding off Giovanni McLean. Hello in Amaru with a burning goal to gather that ball effectively. Uh, he won't want to try that anymore, the captain. Under pressure all the time in the middle of the field, but perhaps a bit too aggressive from Cedric Titus. Yeah, Cedric Titus. As I mentioned, Dean lining up with five defenders, so rightfully so. There should be a lot of passing options between them, especially in that back area. But mistakes like that, taking too long on the ball, isn't serving them too well in the opening exchanges so far. went through. Looks to be the man DeAndre Jackson on the end of it. He shoots! And it had to be a very good save from the goalkeeper, Kamari Johnson, to avert the danger. And McLean and company, they were trying to do the mop-up job for Taki High, but that too was cleared. But the first real opportunity they are going to Taki High. Let's see how Cedric Titus can respond. The passing really hasn't been as crisp as certainly they need to. Jackson there on the far right of the field. Horton to Foster now on the right in flank. That's for Cedric Titus. Jackson. On the ball now, Johnson, Saviana Johnson. Taki certainly looking the more comfortable of the two teams. Already with the golden chance of the game so far. And Cedric Titus would do really well with a bit of tightening up in both their touches and defensive actions. I say as Taki gives the ball away loosely, and now here goes Cedric Titus. Indeed, that's McCoy Barrett. And McCoy Barrett back to the captain now, small. He's trying to go from distance. And perhaps he knows Lije Williams is on commentary. <laughs> yeah, it seems as if everyone is joining the sweepstakes, but it was a powerful effort. Here's a chance for Taki earlier. Loose attempt at the control, but once he got there, I, I think that he wasn't wrong for taking on the shot. I don't think his teammates came in the box to support him quickly enough. Yeah. Rough collision there on the sideline. Here's Cedric Titus trying to advance. 
the fast. It really hasn't been slick from them. Giving it away. That opportunity fizzled out in the end because the advancing player wasn't in position. Foster to the captain, Small. Tries to bring it in the box, but cleared by Barrett. They try now to reset at the back, Cedric Titus. And how instrumental we've seen the captain, Small. The number 10 for Taki, Gibbs. Trying to work his magic in the middle of the park. Has options. Uses Goldburn. Goes all the way back to Janoy Barrett. Having too much on the ball there, Barrett. And concedes a throw in for Cedric Titus. Searching ball that well shielded by Amasoy Rose, the number five for Cedric Titus. As they now able to tr to build from the back. That ball looking for Ashray Minto. He's now on it. Turns well, S swings it across. Whistle there on the play, and it's a free kick for Cedric Titus in a very dangerous area. Dangerous indeed, and it's, it was kind of a body-to-body -body collision, but once Cedric Titus player got there first, DeAndre Jackson, he was always going to, or oh, my, my apologies, Eccleston actually from Cedric Titus got my 11s mixed up there. But once he got there first, he was always odds on to win that foul, and that's exactly what happened. And now it's going to be a dangerous set-piece opportunity. Kamari Gordon, the left back. Let's see what he can serve up. So they set up a three-man wall. Kamari Gordon, does he have the range of kicking? He steps up. And that's over the top. Much to the dismay of the coaching staff of Cedric Titus. Kimari Johnson there in goal, unbothered by that one. Gibbs for Taki. Davis. Offside there being called against the advance in Giovanni McLean. Some of the spectators he just saw on the shot at the Jackson Sports Complex. This is a home of two teams now in the Jamaica Premier League, Mount Pleasant and Lime Hall. Of course, Premier League, Jamaica Premier League action continues on the home of champions tomorrow for the season opener. Double header and then on Monday again. Rumble in the jungle. Arnett Gardens hosts another double header. Cedric Titus on the offensive. Play broken up. Now Gibbs able to break for Taki. Tries to connect with McLean. Passing hasn't been as crisp as I'm sure Coach Miller would want. Gibbs trying to find Davis. He does. Foster, giving him all sorts of problems, has to go all the way back to Janoy Barrett. Does well to turn, trying to find Jackson. Only found Gordon. Here's Foster.
trying to navigate through traffic there was Devontae Houghton. Gibbs. Gibbs does well. Trying to advance still is Gibbs. Time to challenge that from Daniel Powell. Yes, strong challenge in the end, and it's granted Taki their first opportunity to whip in a corner. 12 minutes in, Cedric Titus have certainly grown into this one. But Taki still have had the better chances or chance. And they'll be looking to try and maximize on this opportunity. Taking shot. It's with the Gibbs now. Lifts it across. Headed out by Cedric Titus, but only to another tacky player there. To be Saviano Johnson, who had that blocked shot. Here's Taki. Cedric Titus. Trying to break there. But it's a kick to Taki. Midway, the Cedric Titus half. Can there be something special? I tell you what, social media craves for the spectacular. This man stands behind it. Gibbs, his shot was blocked, but they still have possession. Jackson now lifts it across. McLean had a free header, really should have done better there, Giovanni McLean. Yeah, as a talisman that he is, he would have wanted that chance back, McLean. As you mentioned, Dean, it was a free header. Did well, actually, to break away and open the space for himself, but then yeah, once he got his head onto it, wide of the mark. Eccleston trying to advance, but cut out effectively by Barrett. Jackson now for Taki. Still Jackson to Davis. Gibbs now. Houghton doing well there. But the high line of Taki not giving Cedric Titus the opportunity to break. So it's a throw in for Cedric Titus. Malik Foster. to find the intended man Minto now on the ball Minto trying to get around Colburn here's Small the captain still for Cedric Titus loses possession Jackson play that McLean trying to find McLean now Giovanni McLean has been getting the opportunities but the finishing has been off and there needs to be a bit more pristine shine on his finishing and from from a pass like that I can see why Romario Gibbs has 20 assists this season lovely pass to put in McLean but yeah the finish just wasn't what was required I think Cedric Titus and their back three, back five formation, they really need to tighten up those spaces, especially in that right-hand side corridor, because that's seemingly where Taki are attacking. 
Altaki definitely should be an attacking team named after Maroon Chief from the Scotsall Maroons in St. Mary. Chief Taki, as the historians call him. And let's see if they can spring an ambush. Cedric Titus. So, the second round of the DaCosta Cup, it's a series of home and away ties between the top 32 teams who would have advanced from the respective preliminary round groups. And those teams were seeded based on prior year's performances and the number of wins, as well as whether or not they would have topped their groups or been second round or third place finishers or the best third place finishers so both of these two teams cedric titus and tacky they would have been the first placed teams from their preliminary round groups and the seeding points favored them so they are 15th and 18th and of course prior year's performances as i mentioned earlier would have impacted that so it's a home and away tie and this is the first leg. Here comes Taki. That's a poor challenge. Absolutely poor. It was a driving run from Millie Campbell. And Christopher Walters left him writhing in pain and rolling on the ground. Reckless. And I wonder. Perhaps he's really lucky that that's only a yellow based on the nature of that challenge. So Cedric Titus has a school named after a former government senator, Cedric Oswald Titus. So, one school tacky named after a maroon chief, one named after a politician. But there's really no room for diplomacy in this one. Yeah, two distinguished schools then. And they try to add it to that distinction, Lejay. He's enjoying the action. Still being treated. Ismaili Campbell, well, he's on his feet now. And it will be a free kick in a Dangerous position again for Taki High. And uh, coach said Derek Price barking instructions at his charges for perhaps a, a series of laps, lapses in the defensive organization. Andre Jackson, the seven gold man, standing behind this free kick for Taki High School. Jackson. Well, went to the trees. Yeah, safe to say that attempt was a bit too heavy. Maybe a punter in another sport. Special teams. Trying 
trying to reset it, trying to reset his tacky. Giving away possession cheaply. They come forward now through Foster. Trying to find Minto. That control, misguided. Giving Taki the opportunity to mop up the danger. Player there for Cedric Titus being treated or being attended to. Their player to watch, McCoy Barrett. Still in a bit of pain, the medical staff taking their own time to come on over to him. So that little niggle for Barrett coincides with the water break as indicated by the referee Doreen Affleck. Certainly the temperatures here at Draxall, nothing to treat lightly. Yeah, I was wondering if I could get a water break myself. It is very steamy. I'm sure these players will be very appreciative of any stoppage that they get. Is very needed. This is Cedric Titus plays there, making sure their limbs are loose. Of course, very critical the opportunities like this used to give further instructions from the coaches. Both coaches making full use of this opportunity, Ricky Miller. And as they have a break for the water break. Perhaps you should just pause quickly to download the Sportsmax app on the Google Player App Store on Android or Apple devices and ensure that you can watch all the different sporting options available on the app. And of course, schoolboy football in the island of Jamaica available on Sportsmax Plus on the app. So download it right now and it's free. Make full use of uh, the Sportsmax app. Johnson really went high. Well taken by Jackson, but loses possession now. Cedric Titus. Small, the captain. Trying to connect with Barrett. Barrett goes inside. Firm challenge, but still with Cedric Titus through Eccleston. Tries to whip it across. Now to Foster. That square pass cut out quickly, taking the throw quickly is Cedric Titus. Small tries to put it in the central area, but that was able to be cleared easily by Taki. Minto trying to go through traffic, but it's offside, as indicated by. Mick Tenalman. Gibbs trying to find McLean. Walters did well to intercept that. It's with Barrett now for Cedric Titus turns well. Find small. Faster. Really has been a chink in the armor, has faster. Quite a few missed controls. Give it away possession.
Molly Campbell. Good work from Houghton to steer that away, giving Cedric Titus possession now. Walters. Barrett, the intended target, unable to get it. Shot from distance. Well, one thing for sure is that neither of these two teams are shy about shooting, especially Cedric Titus. I'm seeing them line them up from quite a distance. Yet to trouble Taki in any way, however. Houghton, doing well to hold off Campbell, plays it back to Eccleston. Barrett now. Small. Does well to find Gordon. Houghton, in a dangerous area. Touch too many there. Gets it back. Tries the back heel to get it to Eccleston, but that didn't come through. Here's Foster now, trying to find Minto. Instead, it goes all the way to player there for Taki. Looks to be Jackson. Connected now with McLean. Too much on that in the end. And shielded well by Amasoy Rose. And a throw taken quickly. Perhaps the most purposeful uh, progression of, uh, the, of the play for Cedric Titus just a while ago, but the finishing product, of course, was lacking in uh, that instance. Ball handled easily by Kimari Johnson. The 16 year old goalkeeper for Taki. Still yet to be seriously tested by any Cedric Titus offense. Barrett there. Ball. Cut out by Walters. Johnson. Gibbs has drifted more to the right hand side. Switching roles with Jackson. Here's Campbell. Unable to keep that one in was Lee Campbell, the 18 year old. Both these teams not blessed with an abundance of youthful players most of the players 18 19 year olds some 17 year olds as well Cedric Titus though they have quite an, a number of substitutes 16 and 15 year old players and that should all go well for them here's Eccleston he's one of the younger players and that ball whipped across unable to be brought and target by Minto That one, uh, a better chance created by Cedric Titus. They've been looking to go down that right-hand side as well as Taki, but for the first time, they put in a teasing cross, and Minto again just couldn't get that one on target. Only two goals for him this season so far. To 
goal with five assists. Small. Here's Eccleston to Foster to Horton back to Eccleston. Interception. Well, almost an interception. Eccleston on the left tries to bring it across. Minto, the intended target there. That's cut out by Taki, but it comes only back to Foster now. Small. Trying a bit too much now, but Taki able to break through Jackson. Able to get by Powell. Only just though, as Barrett now pushes it forward for, for them. Eccleston was offside. Jackson, oh, he did well to bring it down, but just went a, a bit too quickly ahead of it. Horton connecting with Small. Oh, he continues to try the more extravagant passes, Small, and gives away possession. And continually the bench tell him use the simpler passes. And I think by now he should have figured that out himself. Clearly, he has a lot of self-belief. Could be deception. <laughs> Campbell. Cotton finding the captain small. That pass good to Eccleston. Kimari Johnson. Using his foot there when he really could have used his hands, showing his own abilities as a sweeper keeper, perhaps. Here's Gibbs. Shown by Powell. Whips it across. McLean on the end of it. McLean has been getting the service, Leger. But he has not produced a fantastic finish as yet. Yeah, this is now his third chance that his teammates have provided for him. Tried to go with a one-time finish. It was Gibbs yet again, the provider. But McLean letting down his assist king. Not providing the finish. Off here, he really wondered if one player could have 20 assists just in the preliminary rounds, but by the look of his play so far in just the first half just over half an hour played we've really seen the range of passing that he provides here's hot now for cedric titus still Horton lifts it across but that cut out by barrett and offside there the call but had the finishing of the entire front line for Taki High been more precise, perhaps you'd have had, just from the look of it today, if we do an extrapolation, perhaps 30 assists. Let's see if he can register one more. Certainly not only an assist, he does score them. Eight goals to Romario Gibbs. That's the number 10 for Taki High School.
So Cedric Titus trying to build up. He is small. Who's trying to do the give and go with Mint, but that was broken up. They still have possession. They lose it though to McLean. It's a throw in for Cedric Titus. Rose broken up by Gibbs. Just a bit too much on that one. Amari Wedderburn throws it out quickly to Foster. Harton. Powell. Here's Taki. Cedric Titus get it get it getting it away. Malik Foster there doing the flick over. On Davis. I think it's really nice that as, as a captain for Taki, McLean needs some attention i think it's really nice that it's another look there oh. yeah he loved that in his highlight reel <laughs> <laughs> his own personal highlight reel. he hasn't been too good today but he says i'm leaving with something and then that might be it but yeah two players down one for cedric titus one for taki one of them being the captain for taki mclean has had three can call it the three best opportunities in this game so far yet to take any i think if, if the score were to stay nil all at half time he'd be he'd feel very hard done by the rest of the tacky team to not be up by at least one or two i would say that they've been the better team over 39 minutes so far have been able to break through the lines effectively getting very clear opportunities for scoring well they have a very popular motto the anglicized the version of it the brave may fall but never yield Kingston College would have been the first school to done that as their rally cry. Here's Cedric Titus through Gordon. Minter loses possession there. Davis peeling for the throw in there after that ball to him from Omario Grant. The youngest player on the tacky lineup, 15 year old Omario Grant, the number two for tacky. Here comes Cedric Titus. Horton tried the shot from distance but effectively blocked. Here they come again through small. Houghton has space. Houghton to Eccleston, who tries to turn. Eccleston! And that was a crucial header from the 15 year old Mario Grant to take that off target. Yeah, I think that effort was goal bound. I was wondering if Eccleston had maybe handled in the build up to this. It certainly looked that way. But once he got that shot off on the half volley, that was definitely headed for the roof of the net. And that save might be very, very crucial in this time. Definitely. They get a corner kick for their efforts, taken quickly. Foster lifts it across. Minto on the end of it. And Minto. 
Well, it wasn't target, but there was some infraction there. Seemed to have been a handball, handled ball. Yeah, from Minto. En route to him, bringing it beyond the goal line. He's down. Would have had some contact with Kamara Johnson. Is another angle at it. Still being treated is Minto, brought off the field. Play resumes now. Of course, that ball would have touched the, the hand of the attacking player, and as such, a handled ball would have been called. Here's Taki. From distance, quite ambition. Troy Morgan there doing well to dispossess Houghton. Jackson trying to navigate through Powell, but Morgan again doing well. No whistle yet. Jackson going darting down the byline, but did too much on that occasion. It's a goal kick for Cedric Titus. Yeah, not for the first time. Jackson trying to go down a bit too easily and deceive the ref. Handled ball there called against Terran Eccleston. Here's Taki through McLean. He's stripped of possession. Mincho trying to get on the end of this one. Loses possession. Harton to Eccleston. Saviano Johnson doing the defensive work for Taki High School. Here's small for Centric Titus. Gordon was bundled over by Jaden Davis. Hart has been so instrumental in the last 10 minutes or so. Foster trying to find Eccleston. Eccleston still trying to get through the area, but foul in Troy Morgan and company in the heart of the tacky defense. Third and added time now in the first half. Jackson did well to connect with Gibbs. He knew he was offside, did Gibbs. 
Junior Jack there. The assistant referee on that flank. Here's Small. Not for the first time today, lining up a shot from distance. And not for the first time today, it hasn't been the best effort. Your most kind. I'm sure to the relief of the players and to so many persons at Draxall, there's a, uh, a cloud cover now that blocks the sun that was out in all its glory earlier. So a reduction in the heat. see what Gibbs can do almost turning well there dispossessed Cedric Titus Foster Kim Ari Johnson always had that one under control Jackson, McLean finds Jackson, Small did really well there, Jackson was a bit slight in his approach. McLean. That pass, unable to find Jackson, Cedric Titus trying to break now. Terry and Affleck blowing the whistle for the first half. Much to the chagrin of the Cedric Titus coaching staff. They thought they were undone. Malik Foster is really headed on his way to goal, but it's a goalless first half in round two action in the DaCosta Cup. These are two teams seeded 15th and 18th, respectively. Cedric Titus and Ataki High. It's nil all at the half here from Draxall in St. Anne. The JPL on Sportsmax and Scene TV Live Hall versus Montego Bay United live Sunday 1 15 p.m. 12 15 in the rest of the Caribbean. It continues in that double header Mount Pleasant, the defending champions versus many time champion Portmore United 3 15 p.m. 4 15 in the rest of the Caribbean. And on Monday, Malines United versus Veer United Monday 5 p.m. 6 in the rest of the Caribbean. Arnett Gardens versus Dumber Holden Monday 7.30 p.m. 8.30 in the rest of the Caribbean. The UEFA Champions League is on the home of champions. Inter FC Salzburg live Tuesday 11.45 a.m. 12.45 in the Eastern Caribbean. 
It continues with Sevilla versus Arsenal Tuesday 2 p.m. 3 in the rest of the Caribbean. Barcelona versus the Shakhtar Donetsk Wednesday 11.45 a.m. 12.45 in the Eastern Caribbean. Paris Saint-Germain versus Milan Wednesday 2 p.m. 3 in the rest of the Caribbean. That's on Sportsmax 2. Second of action. Getting ready for this matchup. Taki versus Cedric Titus. And uh, Darian Affleck sends it off. Cedric Titus through Eccleston trying to open up space. Eccleston gets by his man. Eccleston in the area now. Turns. Unable to lift it across. He does so now. Barrett tried to get on the end of that one but loses possession. The opposite number 11. Jackson tries to break for Taki High. McLean unable to get that under his control. Amasoy Rose under a bit of pressure there. Not calm enough. Played it out for a throw and that's taken quickly. Here they come now. McLean. He's closed down quickly by the press of Cedric Titus. And they now try to break through their captain, Rashawn Small. Overzealous on that kick. It's a throw in for Taki. Another look at the coach there for Cedric Titus and Derek Price. Minter runs into traffic. Perhaps he found the traffic. Minter. Foster trying to whip it across. Not the best of clearances, but eventually Taki do clear. And they're on the go now. Offside. handle on that number seven on that occasion here's Foster trying to whip it across Eccleston the intended target but Kimari Johnson doing just enough boots it forward now Rose will have to mop it up here's McLean Clean turns. Here's the shot. Tuck is still looking to apply some pressure. It's a good press. The Cedric Titus play out of effortlessly. Here they go again. Constantly looking for Eccleston. Has looked dangerous. Here he is now. Terran Eccleston, the 16 year old. Eccleston whips it across. Kamari Johnson able to cut it off. Minto was the intended target. And I think that perhaps Eccleston may, he may have to just go all by himself. Hasn't really been able to supply the crosses that Minto would need. Here's Gibbs for Taki. Troy Morgan there. Wins the kick for Taki. Campbell. Defensive 
frailties there being demonstrated clearly by Cedric Titus. Communication lacking in that sequence of play. Barrett trying to play it out, but falls to Taki now through Gibbs. S still Gibbs loses possession there. Johnson playing it up to Gibbs. Goes back into traffic, does Gibbs. Yeah, he's trying the most, isn't he? Let's see what comes of this one. Still has possession, Gibbs. Gets the foul. But I'm sure Coach Miller would have loved the cross much earlier. Yeah, so would maybe some of the other tacky players. But he won a foul in the end. He'll be the one taking it. Let's see what he can serve up. The five tacky players in the box. Gibbs lifts it up. Played out by Sean Small, the captain for Cedric Titus. Start the goalkeeper could have been a bit more commanding there. Nonetheless, it's a corner kick for Taki. It's in the 52nd minute of play, second of action, two corners of pe two corners apiece now. Johnson on the ball for Taki. Plays it out. Thrown taken quickly by Cedric Titus to Eccleston. Small. Rose to Houghton. Back to Small. Powell now. Daniel Powell, the number 20. Houghton does well to evade Troy Morgan. Houghton lifts it across. Eccleston headed it away. And Rashawn Small really was the intended target. He's upset. Coach Price. Perhaps a bit more reserved in his display of emotion. Eccleston yet again in the center of things, but maybe you would have been better served not being the center of it <laughs> on that occasion. Speaking of being at the center of things, here's Gibbs for Taki. Ball over the top, not the most accurate. And it's Cedric Titus on the prowl yet again. Morgan, lift that one. And yeah, that foul would go in Jackie's favor. Nashua in Minto. The guilty party for Cedric Titus. Barrett boots it up. Shot from distance and 
wasn't accurate. Here, Cedric Titus. A goal kick for Taki. Perhaps a sense of urgency. Back in on both teams. Of course, it's a two legged tie. And as a result of that, they do have another game to play. Well done from Small. Finds it. Finds Minto. quickly small small drives it low comes back to him small tries to cut inside but loses possession playing out now through the substitute Ellis for Taki Ellis does well with a burst of pace Christopher Walters doing well there only gives up the throw in Taki tried to take it quickly Gibbs Goldberg spreads it wide. Taki looking sprightly in this sequence of play. Gibbs. A touch too many and that's broken up. Referee now goes to the attention of the player down for Cedric Titus. Daniel Powell. The bench being summoned. Both teams continue to cancel out to each other. It was a good take initially. Yeah, Gibbs again. A touch too many in that danger zone. That area right outside the box, the hope for creating chances. Zone 14 is what it's known in the analytical circles as we see Cedric Titus preparing a change here there number 13 Denton Livingston we see in a second who he will be coming in for it's their number 20 Daniel Powell seems as if it will be a Straight swap. Taki's captain, Giovanni McLean, also receiving a bit of instructions from his coach. I think both teams are take, using this opportunity to take a breather. The temperatures aren't too high anymore, but it's still a highly physical game, a game where each team has been cancelling each other out not too much between them half chances galore we have seen some good chances as well but i think maybe taki would be feeling a bit sad that they aren't up by a goal or two cedric titus have had their chances as well it's one of their starters 
Ashwin Minto. Rashawin Minto is needing some assistance. Taki wins it back in a dangerous area. Gibbs doing well to find McLean. McLean on it. Unable to really get it off. Goalkeeper Amari Wedderburn coming out and averting all the danger that that play could have caused. They have been a bit more purposeful when they have the ball in the attacking third. In this, the second half, Gibbs again trying to connect with Jackson. It must be said, although Gibbs does take maybe a touch too many a times, his vision for the final pass is looking quite outstanding so far in this game, even if the pass doesn't come off at times. A lot of imaginative passing on his end. Here they trying to lift it across, but that was cut out. The receiver throw in. Here's a shot from Goldburn, the follow up from Troy Morgan. Only spread wide for Cedric Titus to clear. Eccleston did well to beat his marker. Terran Eccleston, the 16-year-old. Saviana Johnson doing well on the defensive end to regain possession for Taki. Troy Morgan for Taki. Loses possession to Small. Here's a sm Rashawn Small, the captain, trying to ease that one through to Eccleston, but he too loses possession. It's a kick for Taki in the end. Yeah, I think Small may have handled the ball there as he was going to ground. Still on the ground. Certainly has covered a lot of distance in this game so far. Starting close to the base of midfield and has ventured forward more and more, especially in this second half. Medical staff being called over to Give him some measure of assistance now. Chucky, they have certainly produced a lot on the cricketing end in Issa sporting competitions. John Campbell, perhaps the most outstanding of past the students. West Indian cricketer John Campbell. Oh yeah, that's what you see when you're on the Sportsmax app. Download the Sportsmax app today. Get it on the Google Play or the Apple App Store and see all the action in school board football and so many other sporting activities brought to you by the home of champions sports max UEFA champions league efl skybet championships all of that on the sports max app and of course scoreboard football is free on sports max plus get it on the sports max app and that is free and you know what i love the freeness <laughs> Don't we all? It's a corner kick for Taki. Taken short. Gibbs hustled off the ball, but still with possession. Gibbs. Still in possession, Taki. Lifting it up into the area now. Substitute Ellis. Unable to really bring it under control. Vaughn Ellis, the substitute.
Cedric Titus trying to break. Foster loses possession there. Campbell for Tacky. Plays it back to Morgan. Slick movement there. Releases Gibbs, but his pass intercepted. Here's Small for Cedric Titus. McCoy Barrett. Charlie Barrett. Gibbs. Taviana Johnson now. Player down for Cedric Titus. Another Cedric play, Cedric Titus player down. Needing some assistance. It's a bruising, bruising encounter. Only the first leg of two. And this tie is very interesting. It's not surprising that it's this close because this on paper it's the second closest in terms of seeding in the Dacosta Cup round of 32. We have Cedric Titus, the 15th seed. Taki, the 18th. So it's no surprise that these two teams are canceling each other out so well. The replay there of the Indian. Let's see if he can walk this one off, Kamari Gordon five gold man from left back but to hear even more of what's happening on the sideline we are going now to Kimani O'Sullivan the man with all the news Kimani what's up thank you LeJ I have news that the force change by Cedric Se Se Titus that's Daniel Powell was due to a left calf strain so I can report to you that Daniel Powell has come off the park due to a left calf strain and in terms of the dugout for Taki High Coach Miller is actually sitting in for their head coach who is not here due to him being an Adventist. So he's missing for religious reasons, but Coach Miller is here in his stead. That's it for me. Thank, thank you so much, Kimari. Perhaps he has the Sportsmax app doing service, I'm not sure. Well, as a Adventist myself, I know there was many a time where, at the time, of course, I had to listen to the radio, step out and listen to the radio in church, so. Your pastor really needs to pray for you. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated from an early age, what can I say? I'm sure he wants to baptize you. Here's Cedric Titus. Trying to dip Taki under some measure of water. Well, they have a water break as we talk about water. That's Colleen Montague, principal of Woolmers High School for Girls. And the stalwart in Issa run competitions. For years, the chairperson for ISA Boys and Girls Championships. Of course, a big part of school board football as well.
coach is getting maybe their last real opportunity to get some serious instructions across in this game the water break which is about to end now see Derek Price there of Cedric Titus transmitting some last minute info let's see what his players can produce let's see what Taki's players can produce it's all up for grabs still and one goal really could be enough not only to win this game but the tie overall it's all it takes as I'm sure you'd have learned in Sabbath school it only takes a spark to get the fire growing soon all those around I'd love for you to finish it. You have a, a touch with music, Jay. Let's see if there can be some musical cheers here for Cedric Titus. Here's a corner kick. Lift it up. Punch over the top by the goalkeeper, Kamari Johnson. Did come in a dangerous area, and Eccleston was there. It's another corner kick. McCoy to Barrett on duty <laughs> lift it up again Minta trying to get on the end of that one but played behind Booted up by Barrett. Ali Campbell losing position there to Foster. Small now on the ball. Loses it. Here's Taki with an opportunity. That pass really won't do the job. Small not getting a lot of time on the ball. Being closed down in the middle. Eccleston. Going all the way back. Substitute there, Denton Livingston. Winning the throw in, player down for Taki. That looks to be Gibbs. Maybe, well, that's not Gibbs, that's Goldburn, Dante Goldburn. He's up now. They're trying to get around Saviana Johnson, but that was cut out. Morgan and Livingston combining to ease off the pressure for Cedric Titus. Giving it away was Liv Morgan, and the ball from Gibbs was really poor based on what we've seen from him. Really needed a more telling pass or even a shot from that angle. Here's Cedric Titus. Minter gets by one. Unable to get by another. Saviana Johnson able to play it out. Here's Small for Cedric Titus. Does well. Getting it across, but cleared by Campbell.
ball played up for Ellis. Has pace, but didn't have the touch to keep it under his control. Gains possession, but loses it. Ali Campbell. Both of these teams scored a bucket load of goals in the group stages, but not seen too much evidence of their attacking exploits so far today. Taki scored 40, conceded 17, so their defense is holding up better than usual. Cedric Titus in zone C scored 38, conceded 9. But it's the defenses that are stepping up in this contest so far. His chance to Ellis. Gibbs. Campbell. Campbell. Cut out well by Rose. Here's Eccleston. His pass wayward. Mandy Campbell there is trying to connect with McLean, but here they come now, Cedric Titus. And the referee has blown his whistle, flashes that card. To Donjay Goldburn for Chucky High School. The evidence in that replay. Well, this distance has a particular bit of memory to it. By the evidence of what we've seen this afternoon, though, perhaps it will not bring the same level of glass. And it did. Yeah, the shot didn't have the ferocity required tests the goalkeeper here's Taki Morgan doing the jump there of in intercepting playing it forward now it's the Foster it's now with Minto it's closed down Commander Johnson does enough to keep it in his control. Here's Taki. They really should have perhaps gone goalward, even though it would have been from a tight angle the goalkeeper was out of the desired era, Cedric Titus tried to break, but tonight Barrett has that one covered and has company through Campbell. Goldberg, Johnson, combining well. Ellis, his first touch continues to let him down, has some amount of pace, but the first touch more like a brick. Not sure if that was a an overzealous clearance from Denton Livingston.
Rose Foster to Barrett does the give and go here's Barrett across in towards the target but that was cut out by Barrett they continue Cedric Titus Small, spread it wide now to Livingston, the substitute. Tries to connect with Harton, but it's been that sort of afternoon. Yeah, for both teams, really. Titus again. And they've won a corner. Here they come again, Cedric Titus. And more and more this game seems to be headed in the direction of a draw. Here's the tacky. They have an opportunity for a shot. It was blocked. Here's Johnson for tacky. He's trying to find McLean, but those missed first half opportunities may be haunting him now. Campbell to Gibbs. Here's Cedric Titus. It's a corner kick for them. And as we look at these two teams, Taki High from St. Mary, Cedric Titus from Trelawney, two parishes that have not had success at the De Costa Cup level or even in the knockout competition either. Perhaps for them the easiest way to go into the quarterfinal, this matchup for either team. Cornicke comes in, but no clear danger just yet. Barrett to Horton. Unable to really breach the defense. 
certainly that won't help either. Yeah, yet another shot from range. Haven't had too many guilted saves or goals. Haven't had any goals, actually. So it's going to be interesting to see now what the sports max up moment is. Cedric Titus through Minto. Time now for the Sportsmax app moment. Brought to you by the Sportsmax app. And it's this bit of skill from Foster. Flicking it over the head of Jaden Davis. That in the first half. Perhaps the personal highlight of the game. He had a wry smile about it. Brought to you from the Sportsmax app. Download the Sportsmax app. And follow all the schoolboy football action free on Sportsmax Plus. That's available on the Sportsmax app. Cedric Titus trying to advance through the substitute Denton, but that was broken up. Here's Johnson. Saviano Johnson. So, yeah, number 10 for Taki, certainly an individual that could stake a claim for the man of the match so far, Romario Gibbs, his range of passing. In my mind, sets him aside, but Leger, you are the analyst, you have that eye. Yeah, there haven't been too many standout candidates, one might say, but I think he has put in the hard yards and at the very least he's tried to make things happen he's created probably the, the best three or four chances in the game thus far gibbs Romario gibbs but it is subject to change because it has been a game that has had an overwhelming amount of quality so if we were to see something now i guess it would be subject to change but as of right now i wouldn't be opposed to giving it to Romario gibbs the number 10 for taki he has to defend this free kick now. Cedric Titus on the hunt. Here's the kick. Over the top. Christopher Walters there, unable to get it on target. So confirmation of that substitution, Malik Foster, who would have been a part of the Sportsmax app moment, brought off and to replace him, Rashad Henry. 16 year old one of a few for Cedric Titus at that age group so they certainly should be able to do well in the under 16 competition but let's see here's Taki through Jackson they do win a corner kick Here's a corner kick. McLean was trying to get on the end of it, but Small, the opposite number seven, headed it out, but it's still with Taki.
Cedric Titus. They have so much time on the ball, the intensity really has died down. Gibbs. Trying to play through McLean. Really good defensive work that from Amasoy Rose. To shield the danger man from Taki. Here's Minter now for Cedric Titus. Can there be late drama? Small. Livingston. Livingston and Eccleston there on that flank. Livingston loses it rather cheaply. So did Giovanni Ellis throw and take it. Here's Gibbs. Man handled by Small, the captain for Cedric Titus. It's a free kick. With around two minutes left in this one, let's see what Gibbs can serve up. Maybe one of those creative ideas can turn fruitful for this tacky team. Top, the top, top team in zone I in the Dacosta Cup, the 18th seeded team. Looking to try and get a win out of this Dacosta Cup round of 32 first leg. Gibbs. Mic drop. Six minutes to be played in added time. Still moments for either team to break the deadlock. Here's Jackson. Switches the play, trying to find Ellis, but that's cut out. Played up by Morgan. But it still is Taki, Gibbs, McLean. Campbell across and Ellis was offside. Yeah, you could see that one from a mile away. Ellis didn't necessarily time his run well, was alone at the back post. But had he been found, that one was never going to count. A good approach play by Taki stringing those passes together towards the end of the game. That's your fifth outside of the game as well. So they've been trying to tempt that back line of Cedric Titus. Cedric Titus holding firm just like how they're holding firm to their clean sheet at this very moment Ellis using his pace Morgan concedes a throw in Johnson takes it. Here's Small for Cedric Titus. Spreading it out wide for Horton. Rashawn Small. Eccleston is trying to bring it under one time control, but he still has it now. Terran Eccleston turning, finding the captain small. Goes away to Horton. Back to small. Lifts it in the box. Here's McLean for Taki. 
turns well, tries to release Ellis. And Ellis really didn't see that early enough. I think he has enough pace to chase down such a ball, but he didn't see the intention of McLean. And perhaps he wasn't sure if he was offside or not. So the return leg of fixture for this encounter will be on Wednesday next week at this very venue. And Darren Affleck has seen enough. The stalemate continues between Tacky and Cedric Titus High School. Both teams unable to break the deadlock, and it will be broken either over normal time or by the penalty spot on Wednesday when they match up in the second leg of the tie. Perhaps not the most entertaining bit of football we've seen all season, but it doesn't need to be entertaining. These two teams, one of them certainly will go on to the quarterfinal round. Confirmation of the scores. Tacky nil, Cedric Titus nil. Here are the full-time highlights. Tacky started the most fruitful of the two teams. And early in the encounter, DeAndre Jackson had that shot. And it was a glorious effort. Amari Wedderburn had to come up big in goal for Cedric Titus. Giovanni McLean, the danger man, was lurking, but unable to get ahead to it they would continue tacky and this time the point man Giovanni McLean fired wide and that would have been disappointing from a man with 12 goals to his credit from the earlier rounds here another ball lifted up to him and Giovanni McLean unable to make full use of the service from Romario Gibbs the 20 assist man there had their own op opportunities, did Cedric Titus and Teron Eccleston fired that shot and Mario Grant, his head was crucial in spearing their bluffs. In the second half action now, Eccleston lifting this across and Kimari Johnson in goal was able to avert the danger. Another attempt from the corner and Johnson making, wasting no time in punching that one. That was another corner kick. But yeah, that's how the action ended. Darren Affleck saw enough. Nil all at the end of 90 minutes. Here's a look at the match statistics. Two shots on target from 15 for Taki. Three on target from 12 for Cedric Titus. 20 fouls, 12 to Taki. One yellow card for Cedric Titus. Seven offsides, five to Taki. Six corners to Cedric Titus, four to Taki. Two saves apiece, and the Lions share the possession going to Cedric Titus, 53. But at the end of the 90 minutes, the score, nil all between Taki High and Cedric Titus High in the second round fixture of the Da Costa Cup. We go now to Kimani, who has the sports facts man of the match Kimani O'Sullivan over to you all right thank you Dean I'm here with the sports max man of the match Romario Gibbs of Taki High School congratulations Romario Thanks. it's only nil all you didn't get to score a goal today but your performance stood out speak to me about your instructions out there well we've been have chain hard so we have to come and do what we have to do well, you didn't get the win, but you have another chance to beat this team. Do you, are you confident that you can beat them in the next game? Yes, yeah, sure. And in terms of how excited you were to put on this performance on TV? Well, it's a great feeling because I've been working hard in training, so I have to do what I have to do. All right, thank you, Romario. All the best. Thanks. Romario. Yeah, that's Romario Gibbs there from Taki High. I'm joined now by Coach Miller from Taki as well. Coach Miller, nothing to separate you and your alma mater today. Speak to me about your game. Yeah. Well, nothing to separate us. So I'm second leg, 
will be the decider and we definitely have to go back on the drawing board and come stronger, although we get the better of the game today. But 0-0, zero, zero, they are still in it. We just need to come harder and get the result. Not many chances for Cedric Titus today. Speak to me about your performance of your backline in particular. Well, for me, the backline was the, the man of the match for us. Um, they stood, they followed instruction right throughout. Um, it's just the finishing touch um, where we have a problem. We got a num numerous chances, six clear chances, and we didn't convert one. And, you know, goals win games, not chances. All right, thank you, Coach. All the best. Have a good one. Yeah, was Coach Miller there. We'll be hearing from Coach Price now, from Cedric Titus. Coach, not a very eventful game in the end, but what did you take from the performance? Well, in terms of our players just not concentrating, not following simple instructions that they were given. So therefore, we just have to get back to training and try to see if we can work it out and come back in the next game and take it. And a few of your boys look knackered at the end. Um, many mm. injuries going on during, mm. the, during the game. Yes. Um, is that a concern going into the next leg? It, it was a concern coming into this game because we would have tapped the group from early on and we had to play a three extra games, which didn't make any sense to me. However, um, in terms of injuries, we have a number of injuries. We have about six players who are injured right now. So therefore, we just have to work with it and try to see how best we can med medicine or all of that. Thank you, Coach. All the best. Yeah, thank you. So that's it from the first encounter in the double header here at Draxall in St. Anne. Taki Nil, Cedric Titus Nil is in the second round encounter in the Issa da Costa Cup. Yo, Issa, my schoolboy football look this season. People are ready, you know. All right then, he go, man in go, Oliver Yashil, you make we link up, we watch the champions cup, Ben Francis, what a cup, which team are win the championship this season? Yo, it's a, what a one day, but school I got finished the league and beat now, which you I got collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people? Yo, it's a, me see fans are roll out all boat, be a flag for a vehicle, looking at the crowd, but loan a support us from school and community too. Nothing at this time, some of the super real devil, some of what you want TV to. Country and turn your night for one reason. He's a schoolboy football. Go to look one, look all. Which team are the best of 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 the best